Hello Woodside students and families. Um, I am going to read a story to you today. I hope that you're doing well. It was kind of crazy last night that it snowed. Maybe you'll be able to go outside and um, make a little snowman or something or a snow angel. Um, make sure that you're staying uh, just at your homes, not going out as we just heard. Um, but I am looking forward to reading you the story today. Uh, the story is called How Do Dinosaurs Clean Their Rooms? When I picked the story, I was thinking all about that Dino Pets that I read the last time. I hope you were able um, to listen to that on class tag and you were able to see uh, that story as well. Um, this one, as I picked it up, I looked and I said, hmm, it looks to me like there is a dinosaur. And already I'm thinking, oh, that dinosaur probably this is not a um, non-fiction text. It's not real because there's not dinosaurs anymore. Um, but I'm wondering what other type of genre is it? I'm thinking it might be animal fantasy because that dinosaur is cleaning his room. And I know dinosaurs don't normally clean and they don't normally have rooms. It looks like we have a character here, maybe a mom. It looks like she might be looking at um, the dinosaur clean his room. It's written by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. Oh no, looks like that mom is super surprised right there. How does a dinosaur clean up his room? With a big bucket loader, or shovel, or broom? Looks like he has a lot. I don't think that dinosaur could wear those clothes. Does he stick all his teddy bears under his bed? or shove them all into his closet instead? Is that how you clean your room? <laughs> Stick everything underneath your bed? I know we read a story the other day, um, one that, a story where we get to be the illustrators, and we talked about um, the treasures that could be under your bed that maybe mom or dad thinks are not treasures. Does he put dirty socks in the back of his drawers? Does he hide his old jammies behind bathroom doors? Ooh, I heard some rhyming words there. I heard drawers and doors. Ooh, and you know what this is telling me? I'm noticing on these pictures, maybe you can't see it, but there's the names of the dinosaurs by them. This one says the Velociraptor. <clears throat> Ooh, so it's kind of like an informational book, too. It's telling me what um, types of dinosaurs these are. This one, I do not know how to um, read that one, but it's like the Euplocephalus. Hmm, interesting. I could do some research. I could look that up. Maybe I could even look up how to pronounce it. No, a dinosaur doesn't. He does all his chores. Have you been doing all your chores at home? Have you been keeping, keeping your room clean? Maybe you could go do that after you listen to this video. And then maybe you'll find a book in your room and you'll be able to sit and you'll be able to read your book too. He picks up his toys and he puts them in rows. Oh, this dinosaur is super neat and organized. He's tidy. It's also very colorful. Hmm, take a look at that dinosaur. What adjectives maybe could you use to describe that dinosaur? Maybe red, green, colorful. And into the hamper, he throws dirty clothes. Ooh, throws and clothes are rhyming words. And all the ripped paper goes into the basket before either mama or papa can ask it. Oh, that's good right there. They're happy that he's throwing that into the um, basket. Oh wow, look at that very clean room. His room is quite tidy. The shelves, bed, and floor. Thank you, thank you, little dinosaur. And it looks like he has his pet cat there sitting on the bed too. I liked that book. At the back it says that there's some other um, dinosaur books that um, Jane Yolen and Mark T have written. How do dinosaurs say good night? How do dinosaurs get well soon? And how do dinosaurs count to 10? This book was How Do Dinosaurs Clean Their Room? And 
I bet that you could also go and clean your room with all of the extra time that you have. You could also maybe find a book to read that you can read to maybe your pet at home. Like this dinosaur had a pet on his bed. Maybe you could read um, to your pet at home. Or if you don't have a pet at home, you could read to a brother or a sister or a stuffed animal or to mom or dad. So we can keep our brains growing um, through this time when we're not together. I miss you all and I hope to see you very, very soon.